Hi, it's Martin Perhiniak. Welcome back to PSD Touch Plus and the shortcut series. Today, again, I'm going to talk a little bit about the layers panel and a couple of features I want to share to make your work faster and easier. Let's start with some keyboard shortcuts for a change. Um, if you use the square bracket keys on your keyboard, you can access a lot of things with layers. First of all, let me just select a layer. Um, maybe let's select this graphic design layer, okay? If I want to move it up or down in the layer structure, I can use Command or Control uh, square bracket and I can move it up in the layer structure or I can move it down. If I select more layers together, I can do the same thing. So I'll move them up and down. And I can also add Shift. So Command or Control Shift and the square bracket will move it up all the way up or all the way down. Okay, so Shift will make, move it faster. Without Shift, you can move it one by one. If you have a layer selected and you don't want to click on the layers panel, but select the layer below that selected layer, you can use Option or Alt square brackets. With the one on the left, you will go down. The one on the right, you will go up. If you add Shift to the Alt, so Alt or Option, and shift square bracket, you can select more uh, layers. So let's just say, uh, once again, I showed this one and I hold down option, shift and square brackets. I um, can go up to select more layers or with the other square bracket, I can go down and select more layers that way as well. That is quite useful. And sometimes you don't want to have any layer selected. Now for that, there is no keyboard shortcut by default, but you can set something up as a custom keyboard shortcut. If you go to the select menu, you can see for all layers, you have a keyboard shortcut that is command alt or option A. So if I press that, let me just select one layer and I press command alt A, I will have all my layers selected which some cases can be quite useful because then you can move them all around at the same time. But if I want to deselect all my layers, for that I don't have a keyboard shortcut, it's here, deselect layers. So let's just go to edit, keyboard shortcuts, and it will be under application menus, select, and there we will find deselect layers. Let's set up a keyboard shortcut, command, Old Shift A. I will accept it, click on OK, and let's test it. I pressed it, and as you can see, I deselected all the layers. I sometimes use this option when I have, for example, a shape selected, and whenever a shape is selected, Photoshop will always show an outline, a very thin outline around it. But sometimes it's just annoying to see that. Here in this case, you can see that outline on that uh, divider on the left and right. So for example, if I ha have selected both of them, I can't see it. But if I have only one shape layer selected, I can still see it. So now that I have that selected, I can press Command Alt Shift A, which is my custom keyboard shortcut, to deselect all the layers. So once again, instead of going to my layers panel and click on an empty part, I can do this easily with the keyboard shortcut. Now, there is another very useful thing by right clicking on an empty part of your layers panel, so here at the bottom, or go to the drop down menu and choose panel options. You can change the thumbnail sizes in the layers panel and also change the behavior of the thumbnails. You can use either layer bounds or entire document. Let me show the difference. For example, here I have a layer, as you can see, this one here on the right. And now I'm using the layer bounds option for the thumbnails. If I right click on the thumbnail, I can also change that option. So I can change it to document bounds. Then my layer will be visible in a thumbnail which shows the whole document and show the space or the place or of this image inside the canvas. But if I only want to see the image itself, I can set it to layer bounds. So that will show the layer itself and not the canvas. It's up to you which one you want to use. Both of them are useful in different ways. And let's just see if I right click on it and change the thumbnails to large, then we will have much larger thumbnail views of the images, but it will need more scrolling up and down to find them. 
I prefer to work with small thumbnails, but you can even change it to no thumbnails and then it will be even uh, uh, shorter, so more smaller uh, the images and that will help you to see all of your layers in a smaller list. So let me just set back that to small thumbnails. So that's all I wanted to show you in this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you will join me next time as well. Thanks a lot for your attention.